team can reveal that despite massive crackdowns by state operators, unscrupulous cartels are still running a parallel multi-million liquefied paraffin gas market here in Kenya. Now the cartels, some operating under the nose of security officers, fill cooking gas at their premises and then distribute the product in trusted brands to the local market. On the outskirts of Eldred Town at Kipkaren Trading Center, a filling plant is going about the business less than a kilometer from a local police post. Police have acknowledged that they do not have proper documents to operate. KTN's Francis Ontomo has more that. Kipkaren Trading Center, a few kilometers from Eldred Town. This is one of the most expansive residential areas in the county of Wasingishu. Both small and big businesses thrive here in a fairly populated location. But across the valley is a liquefied petroleum filling plant that has got residents talking, albeit in low tones. KTN News has just learned that the plant is filling LPG illegally and selling the product to clients in Eldoret and beyond. We decided to storm the premises just about when the process was starting. The moment we are here, Everything comes to a standstill. Not even the manager is willing to explain how hundreds of gas cylinders from a variety of companies found their way here. This happening despite a police post standing just a few meters away. Area OCPD Abdul Bawako declined to speak on camera but confided that the plant had obtained a license for its construction after getting NEMA's green light but it was yet to acquire a license allowing to begin operations. We are not sure yet of how happy. Kazi yangu ya muhimu na pimanga imefika 6 kg. Nikipala na 6 kg naona iko kwa usawa. Kwanza hili nimechukua juzi. Naona kama ina ina inalipuka kidogo inastuka stuka. The industry lobby group the Petroleum Institute of East Africa has in the past warned that illegal refilling plants are potential security threats to the neighboring inhabitants, as Ogutu Okudo, an expert in the petroleum industry, explains. I believe the ERC is overwhelmed to a certain extent, and this can just be seen because when you look at the jurisprudence and being able to ensure on the ground that these these people supplying, distributing, producing, mm. are running under standards of quality mm. assurance, mm. and that's not happening now. Reports show that some plants obtain the gas from smuggled sources, usually through the Kenya-Tanzania border, where the gas enters from Zambia. And the right questions to ask are, what is the source of your LPG? What exactly is the amount that I'm getting in here? And also ask, are, do you loop? Are you sharing your gas cylinders with other places? And that's, again, one of the things that the government is trying to get rid of. The illegal gas is packaged into branded containers of trusted brands that have already cut a niche in the market. The lack of vigilance and a clear disregard of the law is one that is putting many households here in Kenya at risk. And here in the town of Eldoret, this is one of the favorite destinations for the black market of LPG. Francis Otomoa, KTN News, Eldoret. Definitely a story we'll be following up on for you here on KTN News. I want to